Bookworms. So today I'm going to do a review of One Summer by David Badalchi. Badalchi. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is one of the books that I got in my haul, uh, my Christmas book haul I believe, that I basically said I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it. Um, I said it might surprise me but it seems like one of those books that's going to be extremely wishy-washy. Um, and my prediction was kind of correct. But I did enjoy it a lot more than I thought I would, so I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 stars. So this book is about a character called Jack who's terminally ill, and it's a couple of days before Christmas, and his wife Lizzie says to him, like, oh my goodness, I've forgotten to get your medication, so I'm going to go get it now. And she goes out on this one evening and gets involved in a car accident, and dies in this car accident, leaving Jack with his two kids, three kids, sorry. And, like, against all odds, he starts to get better, which all the doctors say is completely impossible because his illness should be terminal, but he basically regains himself to full health. Jack moves his family down to this lighthouse in South Carolina that his wife Lizzie uh, lived in as a child, and it's a way for him to feel closer to his wife, and he basically sets up home there. Um, he encounters all sorts of family problems because Mickey, his, uh, like, 16-year-old daughter, well, I think she's 50 when the book starts, um, she's really resentful of her dad, saying he spends too much time fixing the lighthouse, saying she said he should spend more time with the family. Um, he has two other kids. There's Corey, who I believe is about eight, and... Jack Jr., or they call Jackie, is about two, maybe? Maybe a bit more, I'm not entirely sure. So they live in South Carolina, and initially they say she's going to be for the summer, and Jack starts fixing up people's houses because he's kind of like a handyman, and so he does that to earn some money for his kids and meets Jenna, who is the um, owner of a cafe or a restaurant called Little Bit Cafe. My school bag just fell off. Um, and so they become close and Mickey and Liam, who is um, Jenna's son, um, kind of start dating or like seeing each other. And it's just a book about a lot of family problems. Now the grandmother of the kids, who is Jack's mother-in-law, basically says to him, I don't think you're fit to look after the kids. All the doctors say you shouldn't have gotten better, it's impossible, and if you get ill again you'll only have a couple weeks to live. And so she basically sues for custody of the kids and it's basically just a story about Jack dealing with the loss of his wife, like settling into a new area, meeting new people, like <sighs> Mickey being really rebellious and whatnot and it, it, it's a good book. Though I will say Mickey's character is extremely, extremely annoying. I mean I know she's meant to be a teenage girl who's like she's lost her mum and she's going through a really rebellious stage, she doesn't want to listen to anybody, she just wants to do what she wants. Um, but I just, every time I read anything of what she was saying or doing, I just read it in a really whiny tone, and she's just a very annoying character, and I feel she could have been portrayed better to show that she's hurting or grieving, and that is, she is rebelling, but I don't think they should, they, they needed to show her in such an annoying manner, so that, I think that's the reason why, at the beginning, I found this book quite hard to get through. <clears throat> because the character of Mickey was just unbearable. But then kind of near the end you get used to her a little bit, so <laughs> it's alright. It's a good book. So yes, that's pretty much what I have to say about it. So four out of five stars, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.